this is going to be one big ass haul because this is stuff from like a month ago, a week ago, two weeks ago. It's just a lot of stuff, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, so some of these things I've literally had like ages but never put them in a haul, so we're just going to put them in here. Okay, so first of all, this is the Rimmel, I was like, what brand is this? This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I have used this in a tutorial, I think that might be up or it might not be up yet. Um, I used to use this foundation all the time and I really, really like it. It's one of the few foundations that are cheaper that this colour actually sort of works for me. It's not really warm toned and it's not really, I don't know, I find that some foundations that are cheaper either look orange on me or they look really ashy and really pink. But this one I really do like and I really, um, yeah, it's just got really good coverage. And it lasts a really long time, so I've been using that almost like every day, really. Okay, next up is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I've been using this to bake, I've been using it to set my face. Uh, this is very similar to the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but it was a lot cheaper. I think it was, oh yeah, that foundation, this foundation is like, um, I think it's about £7, and I know this was about 5 Yes, yeah, so it's not expensive, it's a really nice powder for baking with. I thought it would look a bit too yellow on my skin tone because I know this is this colour is usually better if you've got more of a medium skin tone but I actually really do like this, it's really nicely milled and you get like loads in here for the price okay also from Makeup Revolution this is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Peach Light and my friend Lucy actually recommended this to me she said, we were talking about like Anastasia Glow Kits and she said she actually like prefers this to the Moon Child um, and I've like had this for less than a month and look at the like dent that has gone out of it like I've used this all the time this is a really 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 beautiful highlighter it's like a lovely it's not really it's more like pink than peach it's not really peachy but I really like this I think this is about three pounds okay so that was like my first trip to um super drug and this is like my second trip to super drug um so here I got the L'Oreal mega volume miss baby roll yeah it's baby roll i thought it was baby doll but it's not the baby roll mascara which is brand new this is exclusive to Superdrug, and i just thought i'd try it out because i i actually really like the miss manga mascara i don't know if they still do that i think they do but i've quite enjoyed that one and i thought i would give this a go um i also got this collection glam crystals dazzling gel liner i've heard quite good things about these and th this was the only color they had along there i really 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 wanted to try them but it's like this like bluey colour with like little bits of gold in. I thought it could be like a festival makeup look with it or something. But uh, yeah, this was about, I think this was about £6. And I think this was about £3.50 from what I remember. And then I got to the counter and the girl was like, it's three for two on all makeup. So I ran back and I went and got a another one of the Barry M Map Me Up lip paints. These ones are about £6 and they're really good for the price. This is in the shade Minimalist. I have another one in the shade Go To which is like a brownie nude, this is more like a pinky nude and I really like this colour, it's just the exact same formula really long wearing, really comfortable and yeah, like considering the price of these, these are amazing and then because I got three things, I also got like a free makeup bag and it just says like a few of my favourite things on that it's like a purple with like a gold heart on it but that's pretty cool, it's like a tote bag thing, it's not a makeup bag so it's got like handles and everything but I'm not sure if they're still doing this, but go check out Superdrug because you might get a free bag out of it. Okay, also in Superdrug, I can't remember when I got these. These are the Ardell Wispies eyelashes. I really wanted to be into sort of wearing lashes more often. And yeah, this comes with like a free like mini um, duo glue in here. And these are the ones that people seem to like rave about. Yeah, these like wispy ones. They've got a really nice thin band. And yeah, I'm quite excited to try these out. I would like to try these out in a tutorial. Um... But we'll have to see. I actually might wear these tonight. I'm going out tonight. Maybe I'll wear these tonight. See what they're like. Hmm. Possibly. Okay, next. This is like a little random one because I actually bought this off of Depop. This is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet Moisturising Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the colour... I think it's in Envy. I'm pretty sure it's Envy. Yeah. So I saw on Jeffrey Star's channel when they tested out some liquid lipsticks. And he wore this colour. And it just looked amazing. And I really loved it. And then someone was selling it on Depop, and I think it was like £8, and I was going to use it as part of my rainbow series, I was going to sort of use it for my blue tutorial, um, but yeah, I really like the applicator on here, you get quite a lot of product in, and this was, this was completely, completely brand new, as you can see it's like a really sort of like quite a thicker sort of formula, but yeah, brand new, I thought it would be really cool in a tutorial, 
and yeah little little liquid lipstick okay next i went into dab and i didn't actually like buy anything but i got these um samples of the new lancome tin idol ultra wear i've seen nikki tutorials rave about this and i got the lightest color and the second lightest and i'm not sure i think i'm probably going to get the lightest one because i have like a gift card for debenhams so i really want to get a new foundation i was going to get the all nighter but then i've heard it's not the best for dry skin but i've got these two little samples here and it's going to help me sort of choose which one to get i think i'm probably going to go with the lightest color but um, yeah, this is a really beautiful foundation. I've only used it, I think, once or twice, but it's really gorgeous. Okay, and now moving on to some bits that I got while I was in TK Maxx. So I got this um, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, and it's like an illuminating primer. It just looks like this. It's like a typical, like, sort of like, um, just like a cap one. It feels quite silicone-y, though. For, like, an illuminating primer, it's like, it feels like super, super silicone-y. It's very weird, but it's always got like chunks of like shimmer in it. It wasn't expensive. It was about, I think it was literally like three pounds. Um, but we'll have to see because it, it looks more like a mattifying primer. It doesn't really, f yeah, it's supposed to brighten dull skin. I'm not sure. We'll have to try it out. Maybe I'll save this for a testing new products video or something. Okay, also I got this, which is like so unique. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the shade Hypnotist. And I'm not really that into lip gloss, but I mean... Look at that! It's like so cool. It looks even cool. Look, it's like greeny, pinky, like holographic. I don't know. I just thought this would be so cool. It's like a lip topper over something. Yeah, it says. Yeah, it's supposed to be like an iridescent top coat. But like, ah, how pretty is it? It's so beautiful. It smells so good as well. It smells like really minty. It smells like almost like like a mint cupcake or something it smells like cake and mint i don't know but it's lovely and i'm really excited to try that out okay and then lastly from tk max this is the real techniques miracle complexion sponge and i really wanted to be really wanting to be i really wanted to try this out because i've never actually tried this and i usually get ones that are like even cheaper than this just like the cheapy tk max ones but i thought i'd try this one out because it has had a lot of good reviews okay and then from maybelline i got this beige babe lipstick which is a matte lipstick and i got this because of a uh, manny mua and i think it's a, a, a little bit too light for me like it doesn't look that light on my hand but it was quite i don't know i tried it once and it was it was it's very like very nude on me which is weird but maybe i'll try it with like a gloss or something but the formula is really nice it's a really smooth pigmented color so i have to give this more of a try okay we're getting there i promise there's a lot of stuff Okay, uh, what should we do next? We'll do this next. So I went into Boots the other day and I went into the little Smashbox counter and I got this Smashbox and Casey Holmes, oh, that was like reflective, Spotlight palette and this is in the shade Pal. Um, I didn't think they had any because I walked in there and they literally only had the gold one. And then I asked one of the girls in there and she went to check and then she came back and she was like, yeah, we do have it. So it's this really, really beautiful little highlighting palette. It's only £26 for the three shades really really nice i love these i've really been into sort of doing a um doing sort of a darker color with a lighter color in the middle so the way i've been highlighting in the past few sort of maybe like the past sort of day, few days i've been taking this color on the cheek and then i've been putting this one sort of like in the middle and i really like the effect it gives it's almost like a kind of a 3d highlight sort of thing okay we're on the home stretch here we're almost done so i did an order from tarte and they had like a really good like the like free shipping or something like that over 40 pounds so i got the tarte rainforest of the sea foundation in the shade fair neutral and i've used this quite a few times i really like it um it comes in like this little uh bottle with this really cool sort of like dropper it's like one of those like serum -y, like dropper type things the only thing is i do find i have to use quite a bit to get up to like my desired coverage like i can imagine you could go through this quite quickly but i do really like this foundation then i've got this primer setting spray hydrating mist and skin refresher it's like the rainforest of the sea just their little like spray i haven't really used this yet at all but um it's really cool it comes in like a little just like a little normal bottle like that and yeah i'm quite excited to use that because i do i have been enjoying like you know like an all-in-one sort of spray like similar to the mac fix plus okay and then lastly from tarte is this tarte glam goodies set so it's got a little mini tartlet tease palette then it's got a liquid 
lip paint in uh, TBT and then you've got the Tartus Lash Paint in there and I've used these eyeshadows and they're so beautiful I'm really tempted to get the Tartlet Palette because the way these blend is just gorgeous I really really enjoy them so might have to be investing in the Tartlet Palette soon because this Tartlet Tease has definitely teased me into getting the full size I don't know whether to get the Tartlet or the Tartlet in Bloom I think I might get the Tartlet in Bloom because I'm pretty sure that the original Tartlet is like ooh I just drop something on the floor i'm pretty sure the tartlet in no the original tartlet is just matte but i might be wrong okay and then lastly for this haul is the little grand finale the little beauty is the aurora glow kit from anastasia beverly hills and she's so pretty she's so lovely i love her so much like this design is just amazing and big shout out to my lovely boyfriend for getting this for me He's so sweet and you know just oh thank you so much i love it and this comes with oh it's gone all like powdery this little this little plastic thing is like stabbed into one one of the colors so my favorite color in here so far has been eclipse i really love that i've been doing this similar sort of thing so i've been putting eclipse on my cheek and i've been putting luna sort of in the very center just they're like lovely and there's so much of a range in here like i was going to save this blue off for my like blue tutorial you've got this sort of like orangey peachy color oh they're just stunning stunning colors they're like very sort of duochrome this purple's really nice the formula on these is gorgeous it's just like the four pan just like the four pan one like the sweets one but i've been really loving this and yeah Oh, okay, so I'm like out of breath now, but we are all done. Those are all the products that I bought in the past sort of few, like, month? The past sort of month, maybe? Roughly. So, um, I'm really pleased with everything that I've got, and I'm so excited to try everything out. This seems like a load of stuff looking at it right now, and I feel quite like, oh my god! I really want to use those eyelashes tonight. I might give it a go. I haven't put on eyelashes in literally, like, probably a year. But... Or try it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you've got any requests just let me know down below. See you later. Bye!